What's up, y'all? My name is Phil Calvert, AKA Phil Walkie, AKA Phil the Culture, and I am in beautiful Seattle. Kick it away! Oh man, I'm straight Seattle right now. Woohoo! Look at this place. I love it. Now, my motto when I travel is to feel the culture, which means a connection to the people. So while I'm here, I'm gonna go around and ask people their favorite things to do. Watch out, Seattle. I'm coming for you. What's your favorite thing about Seattle? Food. What do I eat? Everything, you name it. You want it, it's here. I go to the market. Cafe con leche. Sushi Kashiba. Sushi Kashiba, baby. Best sandwich maybe I've ever had in my life. Un bien. My favorite right now, relatively new, black-owned restaurant called Communion. We're gonna check out Communion. Communion. Actually, I've been hearing about Communion a lot. Everybody talks about Communion being the spot that I gotta go get into. If I get into it, you should come with me. Yeah, bet, let's go. Hello. Hello, welcome to Communion. Thank you for having us. Here we are. Hello, hello. How you doing? Hey, how are you? Welcome to Communion. They got a hey, auntie. Um, it's actually off of uh, Damon's auntie. So every time she come in the room, and hey, auntie. So we called it the hey, auntie. Hey, auntie it is then. Right. <laughs> Y'all mind if I join you today? Come on Chase in, man. Come on in. So this is like a yeah. fusion of different cultures. Exactly. So Why, we, what's that about? We call that Seattle soul. My mom is, is from Kansas City, Chef Christy. But living in Seattle, there's such a, a melting pot of different cultures. Yeah. We just wanted to pay homage to the different cultures that are here. So you have like Asian-inspired dishes, you have East African-inspired dishes. But then keep to our roots and keep to our, our flavors. So it's got a lot of Cajun spices. You got your chicken in there, your grilled okra. So it's really something you're not going to find really anywhere. Yeah, That's a cool yeah. take. That's for real, for real. <laughs> I think it's time to put Seattle's reputation as the coffee capital to the test. What is the best coffee shop? Cafe Allegro. Bakery Nouveau. Vivace, hands down. Vivace's worth a visit, you'll love it. One thing that's clear, Seattle and coffee go together. So I'm here on Capitol Hill checking out Vivace to see what the fuss is all about. Matthew, yes, you're here to get some coffee. What kind? I'm gonna do a brevet cappuccino. Uh, two brevet caps. Two brevet caps? Mm -hmm. that sounds great. I'll just make with a sweet little heart there for you. Oh, thank you. That's love right hey. there. Oji, un buongiorno. Put a bit, un buongiorno. Today's a good day to have a good day. When you think of Seattle, you think of coffee. So what we see in Seattle is they're getting less and less milk, more and more appreciation for espresso. Oh, man, I'm straight Seattle right now. So it's like a science to this. So there's a whole lot of science, but I like to say it's, a, it's an art first. Man, thank small. you for my cup. Yeah, hey, you bet, man. I appreciate everything. Espresso excitement, espresso vivace. Can I sit right here? Yeah. All right, cool, cool. I got some questions for you. Okay, so I've just had some of the best coffee in Seattle. Yes. Now I'm good. looking for a place where I can get like some cocktails. Yes. Do you know any a few spots? I do. Cap Hill. One of my favorites is Hula Hula. It's a karaoke bar. I like this speakeasy called Needle and Thread. Foreign National. It's over in Cap Hill. It's like very unassuming. There's this cheeky bar I think that just came up called Inside Passage. Inside Passage. Inside Passage. Inside Passage. They have the most eclectic cocktails that I've ever had. Let's go. Let's do it. What do you normally get here? So, I like getting the Inside Passage. So whenever you come to the Inside Passage, you get the Inside Passage. I do. That's like an Easter egg or something. Have either of you been in before? I have. I'm, I'm a newbie. Great. My personal favorite is going to be the Four Boys Filipino-inspired drink. It's served in a rice cooker. And then our namesake cocktail, the Inside Passage, is a house-made champagne syrup, passion fruit, yellow chartreuse, and lime juice. Oh yeah. So the unleaded cocktail for you. Unleaded cocktail. Thank the inside you. Passage. Cheers. 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 Thank you. You gotta take a picture for the grand. Yes, you do. Thank you, bartender. Thank you, John. The man. How do people find it? this beautiful bar? <laughs> so the entrance to Inside Passage is actually within another bar. You basically walk into Remba and ask to go to Inside Passage. It's a secret. So next time you come to Capitol Hill, make sure you come to the Inside Passage because they'll give you what you need. So that's what's up. If you're looking for some good food the best coffee, or some interesting drinks, Seattle has it all. Until next time, see you later, Seattle.